Hello and welcome to Just One More Watch. The Casio AE1200, aka the Casio Royale, gets quite a lot of love on YouTube and sometimes from some unexpected sources. Archie Luxury, the pontiff himself, the governor's governor, even has an AE1200 in his collection. Admittedly, he does refer to it as a but hey, at least he's got one. Now, I've made a bunch of videos about this watch, the resin banded version. I've gone on record as saying I think that's the world's best value watch, and I haven't seen anything to date to change my mind. I also made a mod video about the silver cased version, the stainless steel banded version, how you rub off all that extraneous text, both on the outside of the watch and under the dial as well. I'll leave links to some of these videos up in the corner of the screen. But there's one AE1200 that I have always rather avoided, the one that nobody talks about. This one, the rather odd looking one with the green bezel and the nylon band. So I decided to pick up my third Casio Royale and you know what? It's not too bad. Let's flip the camera and have a look at it. The Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit? Anyway, just a short video today in praise of the Casio Royale in general and in this green model in particular. I think every watch collection needs at least half a dozen Casios in it. I would say that though, wouldn't I? And every budget collection especially needs a couple of Casios and I think these Casio Royales make a particularly strong claim for themselves based on the sheer value that you get from them. The resin banded one is generally the cheapest, coming in at a little over $20, up to about 30 or so US dollars for the stainless steel braceleted version. As you can see here, you can still pick up this green one for just under 30 USD. There appear to be two different versions, kind of mirror images of each other. There's the predominantly black one with the green bezel, which I have. That one has a black nylon band, and there is a predominantly green one with a black bezel with a green nylon band, both of them around the same price. There's a third browser tab open there. I'll show you that one later. 100 meters of water resistance, 10 year battery life, five alarms, countdown timer, stopwatch, and world timer functionality. These things really are incredible for the cash. So I think the feature set and the value for money definitely a couple of reasons why the Royale is so popular. I also think it hits a real sweet spot in terms of the size that you don't get from many Casios. A lot of the kind of older models, the A158, the A168, the F91, etc., are perhaps a bit too small for a lot of guys, somewhere between 33 and 35 mil. On the other hand, a lot of the other models, the kind of Gs and stuff like this, the 735, a bit too big for a lot of people, a bit too thick, a bit too chunky, somewhere between 43, 45, and even bigger if you're going for one of the mud men. Whereas this one, 39 and a half across its narrowest point, you're looking at about 41 if you look at the extremities of the case, 44 if you want to include the pushers. There really aren't too many Casios that fit into that sizing point. 45 mil lug to lug means even though it has a reasonable diameter, it's going to fit skies with smaller wrists well. 13 mil thick, 18 mil lug width though, which is a bit of an oddity and a bit of a complaint for this and I know a lot of other Casios. You can see what they've done here though with this nylon band. They flared the band out here at this kind of faux leather section. Only 41 grams though, so it still manages to be super light. I think the nylon definitely helping a bit with that. Now there is quite a lot going on in the dial. It's a busy dial and Casio do love to stick stickers advertising all of the specs around here. And the green and black colorway I think is a bit of an acquired taste as well, but it wears a treat as I'll show you later. And so full of features. Instant kind of GMT function, you can track a second time zone here, five alarms, countdown timer, stopwatch, and back to the home time. The analog display there always displays the home time. You've got a world map showing which time zone you're currently set in. The empty window there is for the alarm and various other things if you've got those set on or off. And if you press this button on the bottom right, you can cycle through four additional preset time zones. Great holiday watch, or if you've got family around the world, you can keep track of their home times using that one. And a fantastic backlight. Two big orange LEDs, one in each of the two bottom corners, make this a fantastic after dark watch, a bed watch, if you will. 
So what of this nylon band then? Well, definitely more comfortable than the stainless steel bracelet, which is a hair nipper thanks to the rolled links. Arguably more comfortable than the resin banded one as well. You don't get Casio branding on the buckle though, which is a bit of a disappointment, but hey, $28, I'm not gonna complain too much. Two pretty stout fasteners, one is fixed and one is adjustable, kind of Zulu style here. So you can tuck that in, you can fold it over if you want to go for that kind of military style look, but nice and comfortable. And like I said, you don't notice the 18 mil lug width because they've, they've flared out that initial little fold over. So maybe this colorway, the green and the black, makes this the outdoor focused version of the Casio Royale. Nylon band, you're gonna have no problem getting that one wet as well if you are camping or trekking, for example. You know, they're fairly hardy watches, but it's not gonna be as tough as a G-Shock. I've already got a couple of scratches on the plastic dial covering, the plastic crystal on this one, as you can see, but Polly Watch is your friend with all of these budget Casios. So that's pretty much it. I did say it was gonna be a short video. I had always thought that this green and black one was the ugly duckling of the range and I didn't really see the point in it, but perhaps that's its point. It's the more outdoor focused Casio Royale and very, very comfortable with it. I did say there was another browser tab open earlier on though. Guess what? While making this video, I discovered another colorway. Look at this thing, resin band, but with a golden bronze kind of burnt pink colored bezel surround. And guess what? I bought it as well. How many Casio Royales is too many Casio Royales? So there you have it, Casio Royale number three from me with number four on the way. Please, Casio, stop releasing these because if you release any more, I'll just have to buy them. This one, I wasn't all that impressed with it on paper, but actually on wrist, it looks okay. It kind of works. And there's an argument that that nylon band is actually more comfortable than any of the other existing options. You can expect to see a review of that gold case one on the channel soon. Thanks for watching. I will see you then, if not before.